Well, the story is that there is armed conflict down the road, and I think the police captured a, a capo, a captain. So they just went down on the motorcycle. And me mother. Ah. Me. Hola, hola. Tres amigos. Wait, the epic view. Good morning from Mazatlan. It's about 7.30, it's go time. Getting ready to hit the road and head for Sayulita. And I've changed my plan a little bit. I was going to initially go, sort of backtrack a little bit of the way towards Durango and get up um, from where I came towards La Ciudad and go up in the mountains and the hills and then kind of be a little bit above the main road. But I'm not gonna do that. I heard one of the villages is not that safe to ride through, so. Um, I'm gonna go the more direct route, but there is a crazy, looks like a crazy curvy road at the end, which should be pretty wild. So definitely gonna be going through some hills and stuff today. I don't really know what to expect, but I'm sure it'll be wild. Um, and man, what a crazy night ahead. I think I, eating Mexican street food finally caught up with me. Marta, Marta, <laughs> what have you done to me? Oh man, I had a fever all night long, shivering in bed. It was, I thank God for my uh, merino wool base layers because there's no blankets here. I was freezing cold. I put on my merino wool and that warmed me up a little bit, but I didn't sleep very well. Now I'm all hot and sweating and it's, uh, so I feel good enough to ride though. So I'm gonna hit the road and recover more in Sayulita. So that's it for today. I, uh, well, that's it for now. Um, I might ride the bike out past the beach because I haven't really shown you any of the beach and whatever, but heading out and hitting the road. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do this. Adios, amigo. Adios, Benjamin. Gracias por todo. All right, we have departed Hotel Melville.
seen at Mazatlan. I have kind of mixed feelings about Mazatlan. I think it's beautiful. I love the old architecture, but it's just crazy touristy. Everyone was nice, but when you're in a smaller town, it's just a different vibe. Mazatlan at the beach. I was in the centro, and this is only about five blocks, if even, from the centro. Sí, sí, sí. sí. No sé, no sé. Medio año. Muchas gracias, amigo. Buen día, ¿eh? ¿Cómo te llamas? Rigo. ¿Rico? Rigo. 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 Right. Jorge. Ah, <laughs> gracias, Rigo. There's a huge crash or something up here. Wow. Road is impassable. Not a great situation.
coming through El Rosario. captured a, a capo, captain. So there's some gunplay, some revolution in the streets. Um, man, I dodged a bullet, I guess. These people, I've been talking to these people here and a family just drove away. They got robbed. They got their cell phone stolen from them. And so, yeah, kind of scary. Um, I think I'm gonna get a hotel here in El Rosario and just wait and see if the road reopens tomorrow because this is really the only road south. It's really the only road south to Tepic. And I could go back to Mazatlan, or I could go back to, towards Durango, but that's the exact opposite direction I'm trying to go. So I think I gotta get a hotel here and wait it out. That's my only option. All right, let's see what happens. Oh, turning around and checking out this hotel.
Sí, ¿tienes, tienes una habitación para, para esta noche? ¿Tienes? No. Sí, igual que está aquí. ¿Allá? Sí, hay otro allá, pero... No okay. si ¿Esta uh, hotel allá? No, this way. Ah, oh. no, no funciona allá. Ok. ¿Qué es el nombre? Uh -huh. ¿Cuál es el nombre? Sí. Está San Ángel, uh, Baluarte, Los Arcos. Ok. Son tres. Ok, ok, gracias. Bueno. Hola, buenas. Uh, estoy buscando para una habitación. ¿Una persona? Sí, una persona. ¿Tienes disponible? Tengo... Sí. Y hay un depósito de 50 pesos por llave control. Para, para esta noche, ya, sí. Que se regresa. Okay. ¿A ¿Cuántos? 430 pesos por todo ya. Por todo ok, sí. Uh, ¿Tarjeta? No. ¿Efectivo o depósito o referencia? Ok. Uh, ¿Hay, hay una uh, máquina? Eh, hay una tienda aquí que se llama Ley. Adentro hay, una, adentro hay un cajero que es. Creo que es general para cualquier tarjeta. Ok. No, uh, no, no visa. No sé si acepte visa. Aquí. No, tarjeta nada. Sí. Uh... Ok. Uh... ¿Cuántos? 400? 430. Ok, yo tengo, yo tengo dinero. Muy bien. ¿Pero cuánto le da? 500. Van a ser 430, 70 de cambio. Va a ser el número 23. Su llave es su control. Ok, no, no necesito este. Ah, ok, muy bien. Subiendo las escaleras. Ok. La pasilla de arriba, número 23, pegado a la pared. Ok. ¿Hay uh, seguro para mi moto aquí? ¿Puedo estar en la puerta, mire? Sí. ¿Puedo dejar su moto ya sea que la deje aquí o de aquel lado donde está el arbolito? Ok. Ok, gracias. ¿Puedo donde no se la tire o algo así? Ok. Que la cuide. Uh, uh, ¿Cambio para mí? Sí, cambio para usted. Gracias. Ándale. Gracias. Ándale. ¿Conoces que uh, la carretera ha abierto mañana? No, a, a, apenas que ellos decidan abrirla, pero yo creo que para más tardar, yo creo, según dicen, para en la tarde está todo normal. Mañana, okay. para en la tarde. Sí, en la, tar en la tarde mañana. En la tarde mañana. Okay. Llevan 18 horas, llevan desde la, desde la tarde de ayer. Todavía <risa> no terminan. Ah, oh, sí, ok, gracias. Ándale, me pasé bien. Wow. It's okay. Well, the Las Terroristas have struck, so I'm hunkered down in El Rosario. This is my little room.
All right, not too bad, all things considered. Cheap hotel, but it'll get the job done. And from what I've been able to understand from the people I've talked to, they don't know when the road will reopen. Maybe tomorrow afternoon, they say. So just have to wait and see. It's like the only road, so see what tomorrow brings. Well, it's about seven o'clock local time and no one really knows what's going on other than that there's, you know, armed conflict from the arrest of El Chapo's son. And so just have to wait and see what the morning brings, um, see if the roads are reopened. Always motorcycles roaring past you in Mexico. And yeah, I'm just gonna have to see what happens in the morning. I don't know. Um, could stay here another night. Wouldn't be the end of the world. I've been busy working. <laughs> that was my ham and cheese and tortillas. <laughs> That's my food for the day. I wanted to make myself scarce, so I ran up to the store and just bought some ham and cheese and tortillas and ducked back out of there. Um, yeah, kind of a crazy situation. Yeah, it turns out that that truck fire I, I drove through today that I thought was just like an accident, <laughs> a terrible accident, was I think, um, you know, purposely created by by the bad guys. And so that that's the story across all of Sinaloa right now from Los Mochis South, uh, Culicán, Mazatlán, Los Mochis, here, right near El Rosario, just a couple mile kilo, kilometers down the road, there's all these blockades, and cars and trucks on fire, and man, I'm not even sure, I didn't have the camera on, but when I got down to that blockade, this red pickup truck came pulling up next to me, and there was a whole bunch of guys in there with guns, and they I said something about my camera, my GoPro on the helmet, and I thought it was the police, and I thought they said, is your camera going? But it, it all happened really quickly. So now thinking about it, I don't know if it was the police or if it was the bad guy saying, give me your camera, but they kind of rushed off. And because like the car, a car right in front of me got robbed and everything. They took their, stole their cell phones. And you know, so man, scary situation. Sinaloa is in a deep state of unrest right now. So yeah, I, I wouldn't say I'm freaking out, but I'm, it's a tense situation for everybody, but the, the comfort that I take in it all is that I think everyone's in the same situation. I mean, there's all kinds of travelers. It's right after the holidays, Mazatlan was packed with tourists. The Mazatlan airport's closed, the buses are closed, schools are closed. They've told everybody, like in, I think the entire state, to just stay at home and not leave your house. So, you know, everyone's in the same situation and everyone wants to be able to get back on the road and get to where they're going. So I assume the roads will reopen at some point. I mean, uh, and there will probably be police presence. So my hope is that it reopens tomorrow, but if not, then that's what I'll have to deal with tomorrow and stay here. in my brightly colored little room. So, all right, good night from El Rosario. Peace out. Nighttime in El Rosario. Look at, families are hunkered down. Everyone's hunkered down.